Once, there was a girl who was invisible. No one could see her, and no one could hear her. She wasn't a ghost. Her invisibility was simply a fact she had to live with. That girl is me. Looks amazing, honey. Good. My older sister was the pretty one. Melody's such a cow. How come she can eat whatever she wants? Cows only eat grass, stupid, and they have a four-part stomach. My little brother they don't was the smart one. Want to bet? The rumen, the reticulum, the omasum, and the abomasum. Quit showing off. Quit tossing her hair. Dad was generally clueless. How about we enjoy this amazing dinner your mother made? Mm. Troy. And I was the middle child. Those green beans are to die for. Troy, sweetie, Holly hasn't had any. Luckily, there was mom. Thank you. <laughs> mom was interested in everything. To her, the world was full of wonder and mystery, a puzzle to be solved. See how much it changes when you rotate it even slightly. Yeah. It's a kaleidoscope. See, I'm fascinated by the fact that you can rearrange the same shapes and colors and get a whole new pattern. That is a look that means I don't want to hurt her feelings but I'd rather be doing my algebra homework. Pre-algebra. Mm -hmm. Right, get out. When she got sick, I wasn't worried because they said the treatments were working. What's a simile? It's an analogy. Like, um, if I say to you, I love you, like, Bread loves butter. Oh, so like, I love you like laundry loves laundry detergent? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Or I love you like a foot loves a sock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts. Oh no, should we call you a doctor? <laughs> No, 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 Your knees. <laughs> then mom died and everything changed. Without her, I began to fade. It started at home. Vanessa, are you feeling okay? You haven't eaten anything. I just can't have carbs. I'll puff up like a blowfish. Troy, how's school going? Fine. That's great. You didn't ask me anything. What's that? Forget it. Okay. and then it spread to other areas of my life. Just a review. Everyone is reading chapters two and three, doing the study questions in the back of the book. Does anybody have any questions? Nobody? I have a question. OK, then. Have a good weekend. And by the end of the summer, I was gone. How come nobody woke me up? Vanessa, would you stop for a second and look at me? Ugh. Troy, I specifically told you, hey. Oh, what I wouldn't get for a good night's sleep. Dad, Troy and Vanessa are ignoring me again. Why did Mom keep the camera? Here we go. Is nobody care I'm going to be late for my first day of school? Dad! Ah! <sighs> 
Yeah. How was that? Uh, gotta capture the first day of school. Get over by the window. Uh, it's gonna be backlit. And it'll be perfect. I wanna be in it too, thanks for asking. Perfect. Uh, That's a keeper. God, I have a double chin. Lighting is horrible. I'm not there. I think it's great. What's happening? Why are you all pretending I'm not here? But they weren't pretending. I didn't want to accept it, but I had disappeared from sight and from memory. It was like I never existed. I guess it's like anything. Eventually you adapt. All things considered, I live a pretty normal life. I have my own place in a building that does corporate rentals. Nobody knows anybody, so I fit right in. And I have a job. Mostly, I work nights. If you think I feel bad about what I do, you'd be wrong. I show people as they really are. Pretty terrific, huh? I'm telling you, this girl is good. Thank you. And she delivers, always delivers, no muss, no fuss, and she's cheap. Not anymore, I'm not. Yeah, couldn't be happier. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. 
Hang on for a minute. What the hell is this? Who's this? Oh, for heaven's sake. I just sent you the cover photo. That's it. This girl has a sixth sense. I don't know how she does it. What the hell is this? As for my family, Troy still lives at home. He moved to the basement as a teenager for the view. It's what supposedly inspired his career as a visual artist. Troy's been working on an experimental film called Top 10 Legs of the Last Decade for, well, the last decade. And using our mother's legs as a benchmark. Vanessa had remained her own number one fan until she married Marius, a Lithuanian elevator inspector. Come on, baby. We're gonna be late. How do I look? Perfect. Come. Come, come, come. With that, she doubled her fan club. And Dad had found a new love in commercial real estate. You guys go ahead. I might have found a buyer for this incredible granary. Friday night dinner is still a tradition, although Marius is usually held up at work. Hi. Yeah, yeah, I figured. What floor are you on? <laughs> Vanessa, you haven't eaten anything. Uh, meat makes me nauseous. Troy, how's the uh, job search coming? That depends on how you define job. Why do you have to be so obnoxious? Well, why do you have to be so obtuse? Enough. No, not you. No, I love you. <laughs> not much has changed. My favorite things about being invisible. Going anywhere, seeing everything. Not having to worry about rules or good manners, or even caring what I look like. Never feeling ashamed or embarrassed. The worst thing is not being a part of anything. people all right you can see ever heard of respecting people's privacy can you hear me can you hear me this conversation what? wait i'm not letting you back in wait Black wait don't do go now? i'm just can you see me You'll never believe what happened. I met someone who can see me. He could hear me, too. Just some random bouncer. But the bad news is that I'm still invisible to everyone else. So I... I don't know what that means. I really... I don't know how to put the pieces together. What's wrong, little bird? What's going to happen when you die?
I'll be with you in spirit. Do you know what that means? It means that the wind will carry me to you whenever you need me. Yeah, right. It will. You'll see. How come you'll be in the wind? Because the wind is the soul's messenger. But if I can't see you, how will I know you're there? Because you'll feel loved. That's when it dawned on me. What if he wasn't some random bouncer? What if we were connected? Shane Blackwell, former world champion and one of the most sought after fighters in MMA is now all but forgotten. What happened? Shane Blackwell burst onto the scene with a series of unexpected wins against veteran fighters. From there, his career took off. Fans latched on to his rags to riches story, and he caught the eye of actress and supermodel Juliana King. Shane and Juliana became the it couple of the moment. Until this. These photos of Blackwell caught cheating on Juliana quickly went viral. The breakup was immediate. Shane's fans turned against him, and his life spiraled out of control. It all came to a head at the championship fight against Attila Matei. Blackwell had been an early favorite to win. Instead, he suffered a crushing defeat by Matei. Maybe it's karma? Cheaters never win. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week. Jane Blackwell? Oh, do you remember me? Vaguely. What do you want? I think I've seen this picture a hundred times. I took it. I took that picture. Why are you telling me this? I, I want... I... That picture destroyed my life. I know. No, you don't know. But you don't care makes you feel better about your own sorry life. You're probably right. Stay away from me. I can't. You can't? You're the only person who can... Who can what? I want to make it up to you. You want to make it up to me? You want to make it up to me? All right, yeah, uh, so, yeah, you're just going to fix my reputation. You got to... You gotta restart my fighting career, and then you gotta get me back with Juliana. That's it. You do all that, you'll have made it up to me. I can fix your image. I can. And I could help with your career. I don't know about your girlfriend, but I could try. You're crazy. What? I'm trying to help. Do you mind? I got somewhere to be. I don't mind at all, no. I mean, get lost, we're done. But that's not what you said. Look, I'm gonna meet my manager over there. I got some business to take care of. Give me five minutes in there with you. If you don't think after five minutes that I can help you, then I'll leave you alone. And you have to promise to ignore me. Done. Hey, hey here's the chance. What's up, brother? How much, Mom? How about you? Uh, you know, maintaining. Trying to make this million, trying to make you rich. Basically, no information has been exchanged so far. What are you doing? GNT? You? Don't talk to me, that's the deal. 
And right about Pops. now, you're going to start to wonder why it is that he doesn't seem to notice me. Double scotch. G and T double scotch. So peep this, huh? I got an offer for you to book you on a live show. What kind of show? Celebrity Poker Rodeo. Never heard of it. Are you serious? It's where a bunch of has-beens play uh -huh. poker in front of an audience. Dude, you shoot the breeze with a couple celebrities, and that's it. It's simple. Has-beens. Are you hearing this? What? wife. Definitely not his wife. So what's up? You gonna do this or what? Is that all you got? When's the start? Let's see. It's next Tuesday, as long as you stay in the game once a week. How much does it pay? $800 a pop. It says $1,500 here, just so you know. I thought it was $1,500. Told you that. Just something I thought you said last time. Oh, yeah? Let me check. Mm. I see it. It's right there. 1500 Even sweeter. Talk to me. I'll be outside when you want to talk. Champ, this is what you've been waiting for. Exposure. Play some poker and be like, who is this guy? Look how brolic he looks. I want to fight him. So what's up? You win or what? What was that in there? It's, uh, it's complicated. Okay. It sounds really crazy to, um, to say it. Say what? That I'm, uh, I'm invisible. <laughs> what does that mean, you're invisible? Well, not to you, obviously, but to everyone else. Right. You don't believe me? No. I don't. Well, didn't you see what just just happened in there? How do you think that I take my pictures? I don't use a fancy lens. I don't have to. I'm, I'm right there. OK, you know what? I don't need to know what your trick is. You want me to prove it to you? Fine. I'll, I'll prove it to you. What are you doing? Get out of the street. If he sees me, he's going to stop, right? And not if he's drunk. Get out of the street. I need you to believe me. Could have got yourself killed. Tell her that. Who? Her. Psycho. I would have moved. I just I was proving a point. He couldn't see you. No. And Brandon, my manager, he couldn't see you. So I'm the only guy in this whole city who can see you. Well, my family lives right over the bridge, and they can't see me either. Let's, let's assume for a second it's true. And I'm not saying I buy it, but let's just assume I'm the only guy in the whole world who can see you. What am I supposed to do with that? I think we're supposed to help each other. I'm Holly, by the way. How about this? That building on the corner over there, apartment 510. That's me. If you're still invisible in the morning, come by and we'll talk.
What time is it? Six. You said come by in the morning. What's up with you? She's usually more of a guard dog. She can't see me, remember? Look, what do you want from me? I wasn't always like this, and you weren't always like this. My point is, maybe if I can fix what I broke, then things will go back to normal for both of us. How do you plan to do that? I'm sorry, this is just so strange. Tell me about it. No, I, I mean the way that you look at me and not through me. I'm just not used to it. I gotta take her out. Maud, let's go. How'd she lose her leg? That's how I found her. Tied to a post. Someone gave up on her, same as me. Who gave up on you? What's that guy's problem? Oh, he uh, thinks you're talking to yourself. Everybody in this city talks to themselves. So, who gave up on you? What? You said... Oh, yeah. My mom's boyfriend kicked me out when I was 13. Decided I was old enough to fend for myself. Where did you go? Wherever. Around. You slept on the street? In cars, mostly. I've done that. There's this junkyard nearby. No place to shower, though. Kids at school would make fun of me, so I started getting into fights. Eventually, I dropped out. You kept fighting, though. One day, I take on this guy. Disrespect to some girl at a bar. These kids at my old school gather around. Me and him are going at it. He's a big dude, too. All of a sudden, they start calling my name, like cheering me on like I'm all of a sudden important or whatever. That's when I'm like, this is what it means to be a fighter. I think I just found my calling. We got to get you back out there. I still fight. Wait. You still fight? Why didn't you say something? Because you didn't ask. Well, that makes things a lot easier. I got a fight on Friday if you want me to put you on the list. Oh, that, no, I, I can't go into crowds. I wouldn't worry. Get that, huh? Good as new. Hardly. Nice going, champ. Should I tell him the same time next month? I'll be there. <laughs> My man. It's for you. You earned it.
Is that three hundred dollars? You don't do it for the money. You do it because you love the sport. You call this a sport? It may not look like it to you. There's a lot of strategy in MMA. It's a lot more than throwing punches. It seems like people throwing punches. Oh. Okay, look. Say you got. So you got a, a, a wrestler over here and then a, a kickboxer over here, okay? And, and, and they're both very good at what they do, but they're different, you know? Like, one's a, a hurricane and one's a tornado. And, and so you get these two crazy opposing forces of nature in the ring, and, 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 and it takes everything they got to beat the other one, you know? Physical, mental. It's like a game of chess. It's like chess. Still, I mean, $300 is just wrong. The other guy gets half, so go talk to him. We need to get you better venues. And bigger fights. You think so? Yes. How are you gonna match me up with better fighters? Because let's be real, nobody who's anybody is gonna fight me. Why not? Because I don't sell tickets anymore. Just get me a list. Someone who wants to make a deal. It's open. So, I have some news. Oh, wait, wait, two seconds. Finish line's right here. Which one of these guys is gonna win? Oh, the, the top one. You sure about that? Definitely. Look, there they go. Okay. Come on, go. come on. Go. Yes. Oh. How did that happen? What I tell you, this, this is not my first rodeo. I mean, I just mean, um, I've spent a lot of time staring out of windows. Yeah, when you said it wasn't always like this for you, what did you mean? It started when my mom died. She was kind of the only one who got me, so when she was gone, I just kind of... I was 12. I'm sorry. Oh, you should... 
You should probably take that. Hey, Brandon, what's up? You're kidding. He's not. Yeah, I, w uh, I will. Okay. All right, bye. Let me guess, you're fighting Carlos the Cleaver Suarez. How did you pull that off? You let me worry about setting up the fights. You worry about the training. You're awesome. You better get to work. All right. Yeah. Drop and give me 20. <laughs> Shane Blackwell. Now, there's a name we haven't heard in a while. This matchup with Carlos Suarez came out of nowhere. I give the guy credit for giving it a shot, but we're talking about a five-year layoff here. Suarez is a great competitor. He's the real deal. He has a great ground game. What I want to know is, how do you make up for all this lost time in just six weeks? Hey, look, Shane Blackwell was a good fighter, maybe a great fighter back in his day. Blackwell is way out of his league, if you ask me. Suarez is going to put him away in the first round. Call in, guys. Let me know what you think. My prediction, he's going to get killed out there. What's with the pictures? For publicity. <laughs> I'm fixing your image. Who's Troy? My brother. I didn't know you had a brother. I have an older sister, too. What's your family like? Well, let's see. My, uh, my brother is a pervert who spends his days ogling women's legs. Seriously. And my sister's interest in the world consists of what's on her plate. Her latest diet is sesame crackers and water. She says everything else makes her nauseous. Maybe she's pregnant. Yeah, right. She could never stand to gain the weight. Wait, so your family never talks about you? No. It's like I never existed. That's insane. I wish I could be at the fight. You're not coming? I don't do crowds that size. Why? The last time I did, I got this. Oh, my God. I had to give myself stitches. So I will be watching you, but from home. Why don't you come watch the fight at my place? OK. All right. Come on, baby. We're going to be late. Hi, Marius. Hey, Ness. Mind if I borrow some clothes? <sighs> Does this look too tight on me? It feels too tight. You're perfect. perfect. I promise I'll bring him back. match as the underdog you can see him trying to find his rhythm against an opponent in his prime like suarez but we have seen him win a lot of bouts in the past <laughs> tries to 
gain some distance from Suarez. said something about taxes, what have you. But for the next fight, you're gonna make a triple what you mean now. Shane, Dan Wolf, Gotham News. Congratulations on your big win tonight. Thanks, man. You went in as the underdog in a lot of people's minds. What happened? I think Suarez is a great fighter. He made a mistake, and I capitalized on it. Yeah, rumor has it you're going to be fighting Tommy Bones next. Yeah. Uh, any reason you're not out tonight celebrating? Did you get injured? I feel great. And I do plan to celebrate. Pretty good. Oh my god, your eye. Looks worse than it is. Take that. Come on. I want to show you ladies something. There we go. Hey, stick that thing in the door, will you? Not bad, huh? Wow. Oh. Here you go. I got this for you. And this is for me. What kind of it? Peanut butter ice cream. Best thing ever after a fight. I couldn't have done it without you. You looked great out there. You really did. Thanks. You look good, by the way. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Are you sure you're real? What is that supposed to mean? You know. Maybe I took a few too many hits to the head over the years. You know, just because people can't see me doesn't mean I don't exist. All right. See, I knew you were gonna get mad. You're writing me off. I'm not writing you off, I'm just... I'm trying to understand. <laughs> hey. 
I want you to be real. Prove it. Joke's on him. It's gonna look like you're alone in that picture. Hope you like sleeping under the stars. Your heart is beating really fast. Is this okay? No, it's it's good. It's it's really good. It's just new. We can take our time. to do next. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I'm in the photo. I'm in the barrel! Yes! 
Thank you. <sighs> Tommy, two-time platinum belt winner. What's your prediction going into the fight? How many times I win that belt? Two times. Man, this joker been out the game for five years. I bet you right here. I get that submission in the first round. Shane, what do you say to that? I've been working hard and I know what I'm capable of. All that matters is what happens in the cage. <laughs> Only thing gonna happen in that cage, I'm gonna beat your ass like a drunk. Shane, is it true you fired your manager? Yeah, we parted ways. You sure it wasn't the other way around? I'm gonna give you a little preview of what it's like when I mop the floor with his face. I'm gonna make it look like my tape took it easy on you, baby. <laughs> Why don't you walk over here? I'll knock you out right now. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, please. He spared his eyes, man. All right, we have time for one more question. Shane, is Juliana King Shadow Girl? What? There are rumors going around that you and Juliana King are getting back together. Is she the woman in this picture? No comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my people, here you go. Don't forget, you look good, feel good. You feel good, you fight good. Feel good, you fight good. Yeah, we waiting on someone. Well, Tommy, I'll get right down to business, shall I? Yeah, right. Hmm. Oh, shit. You don't have to work here anymore. It keeps me humble. Why did you let them think it was Juliana? What are you talking about? At the press conference when they asked you about Shadow Girl? I thought you didn't show up in pictures. I don't, usually. So you're coming back? You're coming back. <laughs> you... You make me feel like... like I matter. Of course you matter. Hello? Hi. Juliana? Hold just a second. I heard we might be getting back together. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Congratulations on the Suarez fight. That was pretty impressive. Thanks. Well, uh, I will be rooting for you during the next one. You in town? Appreciate it. Wasn't expecting her to call. Well, you are a winner again. She sounded happy for me. She's an actress. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. No, I know what you meant. Hey, I'm just looking out for you. Is that what you're doing? 
And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the main event of the evening. Fighting out of the red corner with an undefeated record of 10 wins and no losses, Tommy the Destroyer Bones. And challenging him for the first time, the former world champion fighting out of the blue corner, Shane Blackwell. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. This don't make you a winner. Ready? Ready? Fight! Got a behind the scenes exclusive Blackwell training. <laughs> Does it include naked shower photos? No shower photos. Well, Dollface, good people and hard work. Don't sell papers. How about this for an exclusive? Mate agrees to rematch with Blackwell. When did that happen? You know anything about a rematch between Blackwell and Mate? One of my sources, I can't remember her name, but she's good. I'm giving you this, either you run with it or someone else will. It's gonna be the fight of the year. Decade. Hell, if we print it, it's halfway to being true anyway. Kick the embezzlement scandal off of page one. They're a dime a dozen. People love a good comeback story. <laughs> Attila! What's up, bud? Can I get your autograph? Yeah, of course, man. Dude, I'm totally pumped about the rematch. Rematch? Yeah. What rematch? Shane Blackwell. That's pretty cool, man. Thanks. What's this bullshit about a Blackwell rematch? How's this the first you've heard of it? Well, it's not happening. Because I've already beat him. That's ridiculous. You know what? I beat him before and I could beat him again. Fine. Just get it done so I can focus on the championship. Nice place. Secrets. <sighs> Carrots. You still up? I'm just checking on you. Please be a prostitute or a dealer. Yeah? What are you wearing? Come on, Ma. They're just slippers. You're the uh... ones who are worn out. Well, I'm glad you think they're comfortable. All right, you have a great night. I love you, too.
Vanessa? Oh my god, you are pregnant. Does Marius know? What's the matter? Why aren't you happy about it? Hey, this is Shane. Leave a message. Hey, so you're right. Vanessa's pregnant. But she's not telling her husband about it. I hope she's not having an affair. Call me back. Shot director? No. <clears throat> he was a producer. And no, that was a long time ago. So who's a lucky guy? Who says there's only one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, there's no one. What about you? What about me? Who's the girl in that picture with you? Who's Shadow Girl? Nobody you'd know. Okay. Well, if you're trying to make me jealous, it's working. Julie, I don't know what this is, but, uh... I don't have time for games. I'm not playing. That didn't take you very long. What are you doing here? What? What are you doing here? Are you spying on me? Who are you talking to? What? Jane, what's going on? I came for her. I didn't think you were gonna be her date. Holly! Wait up! Holly! Stop, stop. So what was that the other night? That meant nothing to you? Of course it did. So then what were you doing with Juliana? She called and asked if we could meet. I wanted to see what would happen. I have a pretty good idea. You don't get it. We've been through a lot, me and her. She doesn't care about you. She's just... Holly. Using you. I think you're great. I wouldn't be where I am without you. But out in the real world, you don't exist. People seeing us, people seeing us right now think I'm talking to myself like I'm some kind of crazy person. I just wanted to be straight with you, all right? You deserve a medal. Don't pretend that you didn't want something else out of this. You wanted to help me as a way to help yourself. Well, that may be all I can deliver. What? I couldn't find anything on Mate. 
So? So? I can't guarantee you're gonna win the fight. Yeah, of course you can. What do you... You've been fixing these fights. You wanted me to weave a magic wand, so I did. So you make me a fraud? You didn't question the result. Is that what you think of me? Is that what you think I wanted? Get out of my sight. Shane. Keep looking for the worst in people. I guarantee you're going to find it. What are you doing here? Can I come in? I need to tell you something. Go ahead. The picture you took of me and that girl wasn't the reason Juliana and I broke up. It wasn't the reason I lost the fight. I think somewhere along the way, I just kind of started to buy into my own hype. I felt like the world owed me something. Why well, try so hard, you know? I cut corners. I got lazy. 
I cheated. We both did, by the way. It wasn't the first time I got caught. That was the most public. And when it all fell apart, I couldn't handle it. So, all this time, it wasn't my fault. Well, it makes sense why it didn't work. Well, you got everything you wanted, right? Tell me how I can make it up to you. about you, Holly, but I don't want to be that guy anymore. Look. Whatever you lost, you gotta... I gotta what? I don't know. Face whatever happened. I know what happened. My mom died and my family abandoned me. Are you sure? Am I sure? I just remember. Am I sure? I just think maybe there's another way to look at it. You think that I want this? Do you think that this is a choice? Do you think that I woke up one day as a 12-year-old and decided it wasn't enough to have the one person I cared about most die and watch everybody else move on? But what I would really, really love is to have everybody start ignoring me and slip into this weird in-between world where I don't get acknowledged by another living soul for however many years. You know that's not what I said. Just go. I hope you'll be there. We made a lot. I don't do crowds, remember?
Hey! Shane! to me never being alone huh what happened to you coming whenever I needed you well I need you now please I don't know what to do I don't I don't have anywhere to go Can someone tell me what to do? Can someone tell me what to do? Okay, I have this photo shoot and then I'll be back. How are you feeling? Ready to get in there and dominate. Great. Glad I don't date losers. Hey. I'm joking. Let me ask you something. Would you call me if I had no fuss for us? Yes, of course. Would you have called me if I had no one? Eventually, yes. Look, I'm not going to apologize to you for wanting you to be successful. Makes sense. Come on, girls, let's take a picture. Dad, why do we always have to do this? All right. Come on. Thank you, one day. Okay. Two, it wasn't too bad. to come say goodbye to you. I'm not really sure how much longer I'm gonna be here. This is your third one, Vanessa. I think it's pretty clear. Everything okay, baby? Just a sec. You have to tell him this. broken nail. Oh, she didn't. Look, they're perfect. You sure are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not leaving you like this. We make the baby. I didn't know how to tell you. She's gonna be beautiful, like her mommy. I can't. I can't. I say something wrong. No, 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 no. Growing up, I, I, I never felt like I was good enough. 
We're smart enough, we're interesting enough. My mother always played favorites, and it, it definitely wasn't me. I felt so cheated when she died. All I could count on was that I looked nice. And I don't want to put that on our kid. I, whether she's pretty or not, I, I don't, I don't ever want her to feel like that's all she is. She won't. Same goes if it's a boy. Your film is really beautiful. I guess I wasn't really the best big sister, huh? I'm sorry. Ow. Are you are you okay, Miss? I I think so. I oh you, yeah, you shouldn't stay. Uh, here, uh, do you need a hand? Come on, your arm. Troy. Yeah. Don't put don't put too much weight Ow. on it. Okay. Do you need some ice? No. I'm Allison. Oh, I'm Troy. You took quite a spell. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I saw it. And then I thought I'd help. Why don't you date? I always thought it's because you were too busy working, but I've been wrong about a few things lately. Why do you work so much? It's not like this makes you happy. That's what you look like when you're happy, Dad. Is to help you sleep. And then it clicked, like the tumblers of a safe. 
losing mom didn't happen just to me. It happened to all of us. You never got over her. Happy anniversary, Vicky. I, I know you prefer the apricot orange, but this one is the healthiest one they had. I never realized how hard it must have been for you to go on without her. I'm sorry, Dad. I had always expected people to be there for me. But the truth was, I had never really been there for anyone else. so far, but it's still early in the fight. Blackwell's strategy seems to be go straight on the offense, but Matei right now is untouchable. <laughs> some damage. Blackwell taking some heavy blows in this third round. He isn't backing down. Looking good, babe. Blackwell going Don't for the takedown. 
down, down and can make it. the light go. Mate gets Blackwell in a headlock, hoping to turn it into a sweep, but this is not a good position for Mate. <laughs> Blackwell tried to reverse the momentum, but it may not be enough. Blackwell showing signs of fatigue.
Yes. Hey. Hit him. Man. Hit him back. Ma'am, this is a restricted area. You can't be up there. Come on. Come on, Shane. Man, yes, let's you go. got him. Just let's give go. me a minute. It's time to go. Let's go. find somebody. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, hi. Hey. Uh, great job. Great win. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Pretty impressive. I am... Um, I didn't realize that I needed a ticket. Hey. Because I... She's with me. She ain't have a pass or anything. All right. You... You were amazing out there. Um... You came back. You were right about so many things. Not everything. What about Juliana? We ended on good terms. So she's just here to support you? In her own way. So the spell was broken. But love was only half the journey. The rest was learning to recognize the depth and longing and pain of others. In short, to grow up.
Not sure